Hello, once again, welcome to Agiotech. I'm delighted to have you back on my channel. If you are new to this channel, remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order not to miss any of my upcoming videos. If you are also visiting this channel and you've been a regular viewer, remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed this tutorial. Basically, what we are going to do in this tutorial is to get basic phone number information using Python. So we're going to import a model in Python called phone numbers. There are so many amazing models in Python, but we'll focus on the phone numbers. We can basically get a lot of things about phone numbers, validate phone numbers, all that using the phone number model. We can import time zone and other things. But we want to focus on three, we want to focus on two main areas in this tutorial. So we're going to focus on the carrier and then the geocoder. The geocoder will give us the country of the phone number, and then the carrier is going to be the holder. And the carrier is going to be the network provider, so whether I'm empty or Vodafone. So this is a program. I've run this program. If I go ahead and then I enter, remember if you want to enter the country, do your country code. So if I enter this, and then I hit enter, it's going to give me what the country. So this number belongs to Ghana, and then the holder is MTN. If I run this again, and let me enter a different network. You can see this number is saying Ghana by Vodafone. Okay, so this is an amazing program. So we're going to focus on the carrier and region of the phone of that phone number. Okay, so we're going to learn so many amazing things on this particular channel. Remember to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming video. So what we need to do is we're first going to import before you can use any model in Python. You first need to import that. So we're going to import that model, and then from that model, we're going to target two things. We're going to target the carrier and the geocoder. We can write we can write this in separately, but I just decide to comment this out. You can just import the geocoder separate and then import the carrier separate. But you may like to write this code very simple and you don't want to write so many lines of code. So I imported this on the same line and I just decided to comment this out. I will request or we will just prompt the user to enter a number and then we'll just pass that number onto our model and the next thing we're going to do is also to also get the location of that number so we're going to store that in this particular variable called location and we also get a carrier we're also going to store that in our carrier so we're going to get a geocoder the description of the description for number and then we also get a carrier name for the number and it will print the two out so we're going to start and see how this is going to work for us so let's first start this program so what you need to do is just try and then import use the import keyword so importing we are importing phone so remember it's plural so phone numbers that is all and the next thing to do is we are going to say from phone numbers we are going to import the carrier and the geocoder so these are the two things we need we can import them separately but for the sake of this tutorial i just want to do it just using one line so you can see how simple this is going to be remember to subscribe if you enjoyed this tutorial and also hit the like button so a lot of people can have the chance to watch this video so now that we've imported our two main functions the carrier and the geocoder all we need to do is to prompt the user to enter a number okay so we're first going to create a variable where we can store the number that the user is going to what enter so we're going to say let's say phone number and then we're going to prompt the user let's say input and i'm going to say enter your number so let's do it this way okay so once the user enters this number we're now going to pass it on to we are going to pass it on to our model which is what the phone what numbers that is the model we imported so all we need to do is to go ahead and create another variable to store that so we can say number is called to so we're going to call our model which is phone number so remember it's plural so we say phone phone numbers dot pass and all we need to do is going to pass this number 
what the user entered we're going to pass it on to this that is all we need over here and this time around once we are done with this we're now going to now get the location of our number and then we're also going to get a carrier whether empty and with phone whatever so we'll try this with your country entire country number with your code and see if it's going to work for you and leave a comment at the comment section and let's see how best we can make this code to function if you can contribute and see maybe there's a nice way you can run this program or you can write it you can just let me know at the comment section i believe we can learn together and then to, we can make this channel a better one so leave a comment at the comment section let's continue chatting even after this tutorial so we've been able to pass this phone number onto a different variable so let's see what is going to happen next. so now we are now going to get a location so we create another variable called location and we'll get a geocoder so we are going to use our first function that's the geocoder then we're going to description for number and then we'll get a carrier so let's go ahead and do that so we're going to create so i'll say location that's the name of my variable equal to so i'm first going to call my geocoder then dot description underscore forward number and we'll go ahead and say we're going to pass this number so remember we pass our phone number to this so we just pass this here comma and then we just go ahead and type en and then we'll do the last one so we're now going to get a carrier as well So the last thing is going to be the carrier so we just also pass the carrier we'll store everything we we'll get a carrier and then we we'll store it into this variable called carrier so it's going to be carrier dot name for number and we're going to do the same thing so we're just going to call the function carrier dot name underscore for number and the same thing we're just going to call our number comma then what a n okay so we've been able to pass this we created this variable with, to store our carrier location and the last thing we need to do is also to print out this result so we're going to print out our location first so we want to know the country so print out so this is the location we can just copy that and then paste it here and then we'll go ahead and print the carrier as well so let's say print then go and say carrier that's all so if everything is right if there's no error in this code if you run this this should go perfectly and then you can try this code and see how it's going to work i believe you enjoyed this tutorial up to this stage remember to hit the like support me by hitting the like button and also leave your comment section leave a comment at the comment section and also share this video with friends so let's now run this and see so when you run this program it's going to prompt us to enter a number so we just go ahead and enter a number with the country code and I hit enter so hit enter you can see it's saying what Ghana and then the carrier is what MTN so this is able to track the basic information we are looking for so our focus is for the carrier and then the geocoder and it's telling us that this is Ghana and then it's MTN I'm also going to run this again and this time around I'm going to try a different network and also see what is going to happen so I'm going to go ahead and say two so that's the code for Ghana and then I'll go ahead and say And then hit enter so you can see this time around is saying Ghana by what Vodafone so the carrier is not Vodafone so this is a basic code that will help you a lot to be able to track the location of a phone number and also the carrier we can do a lot with the phone number model the phone numbers model we can get a lot about this but my focus is for the carrier and the geocoder remember to subscribe and then wait for my other amazing video using other amazing models in Python you can use a lot and then do a lot with python so remember to subscribe and don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos we're going to do amazing stuff on this channel in order not to miss that just subscribe and continue liking my videos so much for enjoying this short tutorial so like come away and remember to subscribe and stay alert bye bye